Good afternoon, Samara. Yes, Samara. Samara, I'm happy to have you. It's an honor and a privilege for me to give you this interview. So your name is? Samara Vincent. Vincent. Were you born in Haiti or were you born here? I was born in the United States. So you're an American, American yes. born. That means yes. that you can become president eventually. <laughs> All right. There we go. Then you grew up also, you grew up here in the United States. No, I grew up in Haiti. Ah, you were in Haiti for how many years? Um, until 2007. My, okay, myself, okay, very good. And then you, you have, and then, you made your, your high school here then? Um, well, I only did my uh, junior and senior year in high school here. So I moved to Chicago and I did my junior year there. And then I moved to New Jersey and I did my senior year in college here. In, in New Jersey. You've, yes. been, you've been around, you went to Chicago, my goodness. Right? <laughs> and you came out alive. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Very good. And uh, you now would uh, like to compete with other brilliant young men and women for the uh, Youth of the Year, 2016. And what prompted <laughs> you? What prompted you to apply? Um, well, my priest is the one who really got the information first. So we were having a meeting, um, we have a meeting, depending on what's going on with the church or the youth group, we have a meeting usually um, sometimes at 8.30, the comedian meeting on Sunday before we actually meet with the kids. And um, he, well, he, he told me that he wanted me to, to, to yeah. go ahead and... Probably <laughs> because he feels that you're a very brilliant young lady, huh? After, <laughs> yes. after completing uh, uh, high school you, and college, uh, you remain involved in the church, huh? What has yes. been what has been the nature of your involvement? Um, in the church, so the way the way it really started because when I was younger, I used to go to Catholic church. Uh, when I moved here, um, I was actually just married to a Catholic priest, so it was because of my mother, I always kept, you know, my Catholic faith. Um, so here I have a friend who I grew up with as well, who brought me to St. Michael's to get to the youth group for the first time. And from there, um, I agreed to serve as their public relations officer. And after that, um, the, the coordinator, you know, she decided that she wanted to take a leave of absence. So then they asked me to, you know, go ahead and step in, which I accepted as well. So right now, I'm the coordinator for the youth group. Um, I'm also um, helping with public relations work and I'm also one of the counselors for the group. Beautiful, very good. And you keep the group very alive and active, huh? Yes, I, I, I enjoy being busy and especially I love working with young kids. Beautiful. So that's one of the things that really, you know. So we appreciate that very, very much. <laughs> and, and you love your Lord Jesus, huh? You yes, love Jesus, yes, huh? absolutely. You, you increasingly discover the power that we find in Christ Jesus. Huh? Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful. Now, in college, what are after college? You you you're studying now. What are you studying? Now, I, I'm, uh, I'm at Arab University. I'm trying to get a master's in public administration and with a concentration in health services. Health services. Uh, Public administration. Yes. Uh, you need a good brain for that. Eh? You need to, <laughs> to organize, to, to have priorities, to know what comes first and what comes second. That's yes. a very important skill. Public administration. Do you think that we have a lot of public administration in Haiti? Um, I think that we do. However, um, it's the, the, the issue that I feel like that, that we have in Haiti is more of a structural issue, whereas there are, you know, the, a lot of people who have a lot of positions, however, they may not necessarily have the skills to conduct the positions properly. So that's where, you know, I really want to, uh, like, you know, um, step in and help um, because I'm, I'm the kind of person, when I learn something, I love teaching it to other people as well. So um, 
So that's one of the things that I want to do. I want to be able to not only, you know, have the health background and the public administration background, but also be able to, you know, be in charge of um, maybe a hospital or um, a, something, you know, maybe for kids who they care, um, whatever it would be. And then in that also, I want to be able to, you know, educate others to kind of help them when it comes to, you know, basically know how to properly run an establishment or, or an organization. So that's basically my goal right now. And you know, it's uh, very Christian. This is what Jesus wants, that we should be rooted in faith in Him. And then uh, we bring whatever we receive from Him because we are part of his body, and Jesus has entrusted the care of evangelization to, to the believers. So the more we believe and we demonstrate our faith through our good deeds, through our love. And I'm happy to hear that from you. I think I thought you also so, studied some geology, huh? Yeah, I did that in college um, for my bachelor's degree. Um, so I did geology and then I also had a, I had a minor in psychology and um, environmental sciences. So I, I, I'm really, I was really fascinated with, you know, the earth and rocks and things like that. Even now, I recently went to the museum in, um, in Washington, D.C. And again, in the museum, I was again amazed with all the minerals. So that's, um, and I really wanted to do a science in college. Um, but however, I felt like geology suited me a little better. So that's what I did. Okay. So you have to be pragmatic, you know, you need a job, and therefore you need the skills that are needed in the marketplace. At the same time, you try to enrich your personality and to grow in every direction. But you need a, a basic skill that is, uh, you know, on demand on the market. Okay. So you, do you love your country, Haiti? passé, on peut au compte par écrire très bien. Oui, très bien c'est On peut dire un accent quand même, on peut dire un accent anglais, mais on va pas l'écrire, non? Bon, c'est parce que surtout un hein, Kaila, tout le monde sait anglais, anglais, anglais. Mm -hmm. Donc, euh, ma plus c'est quand même le bon monde qui vient de pas l'école là, mais vous avez vu ce qu'on parle là, mais vous. Donc, euh, ça, maintenant, Kaila, tout le monde dit bien longtemps. Donc, so, il plus parler anglais. Ok, je comprends ça. Donc, vous sentez que vous avez un bagage qui est offert à les jeunes en Haïti. Et si vous êtes capable de porter un retour pour développer le pays, parce que les gens ne peuvent pas trouver que le pays est en retard en pile. Bon, trouver que le pays. Bon, bien que le pays est en retard en pile, mais il y a un 
accompagné par la table évolué en surtout de ça quand la télévision ça mon mon moi gars et ça dit quand pas qu'elle parle que moi que vraiment oui Haïti il a là avancé petit à petit mais quand on regarde pour on 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 cycle passé et puis tout monde ça yo oui ça va être pas mal pas supposé vivre comme ça l'infrastructure Haïti a vraiment besoin d'aide moi-même, moi, je suis en train de faire l'éducation en pile. Donc, je crois que l'on éduque au monde de certains bagages, il y a capable de connaître les précautions pour eux, par exemple, il y a connaître que, ok, si tu as la masse table, la carrière de la carrière. Donc, moi-même, c'est donc un but, c'est pour aider plus dans l'éducation pour eux, connaître comme c'est qu'il y a des situations qui sont pour eux. Donc, tu as grandi en Haïti, tu peux parler français aussi. Oui, je peux parler français aussi. Avec facilité. Ah, ah. Avec facilité. Oui, avec un peu de facilité, mais la, le français, on, encore dans la maison, on ne peut pas français. Je parle plus français au téléphone à, à mon travail avec les Canadiens. Ah, bon. Donc, vous avez des amis au Canada? Oh, non, je n'ai pas d'amis au Canada, malheureusement. Um, pas de personnes que je peux aller visiter, par exemple. Je, je te parle avec des clients, par exemple. Des clients? Vous avez des clients? Oui. Au Canada, oui. Il y a des clients pour que vous vendez, vous avez des objets, des articles que vous vendez. Bon, euh, pour mon travail, je, je travaille pour Novartis. C'est une compagnie à pharmaceutique. Ils ont des employés au Canada. Donc, quand les employés appellent, ils ont besoin d'aide. Donc, ils me demandent à moi, par exemple. Il faut appeler à vous. Donc, oui. euh, le français est, est quand même et, est un atout pour vous. Oui. C'est un atout important. Eh bien, je suis content de parler en pile avec vous. Et est-ce que vous avez un dernier mot, vous voulez dire, Timon, qui est en Haïti? Moi-même, moi, je me dis surtout, on connaît qui est là, il n'a pas lagué. Et puis surtout, Timon, moi, je me pose que Timon, en éducation, en cause, c'est vraiment, vraiment très important. Donc, je pense que vous avez un temps qui a travaillé du voyage qui voulait tourner à Haïti et pour aider nous, nos jeunes nous capables. Donc, n'importe ce qui passe dans la vie, on ne connaît pas que tout le monde ne passe pas que les gens grand goût. Juste, qui aime la salle, qui aime le monde pour nous travailler, qui veut venir de nous à Haïti. Donc, ok, donc, on espère vraiment nous soon enough, on est capable de venir vraiment à Haïti pour nous aider. On ne connaît pas que tout le monde. Magnifique, magnifique. Il fait mal à moi. Right. Now, what do you want to tell the youth in the United States? Uh, well, youth. You in, I'm sorry? What do you want to tell the Haitian youth in the United States or Canada? What's your message to them? My message to the youth in the United States and Canada is be, be grateful for what you have. Be grateful and always thank God for everything that you have in your life. Because a lot of the times, you may not see it, but there are people who are who are going through a lot of things, but they still make a way. And as a youth here, you have some sort of an advantage where you get to experience, you know, a life that may be easier than those in Haiti. So always, you know, make sure that you're grateful for what you have and that you always give back to your community. Because that the more you give, the more blessed you are. So I want to tell them, you know, you may have your things going on, you know, keep your head up as well. However, always forget that, you know, you have God on your side and that you always want to make sure that you have those less fortunate than you. This is what the, you know, the son says, that I will always stand because God is on my side. It was a real pleasure and a privilege to talk to you, Samara. And <laughs> I hope that you will be among the winners. But that's not important. What's important is the quality of the message that you bring to those who are listening to you. And we love you and are very proud of you. Thank you so much. Okay, Thank you so much for this opportunity. Okay. <laughs>